Good afternoon. This is Fox News and my name is Joseph Urkin. Today we're going to be talking about illegal immigration and also we're going to have a specialist from the Trump campaign on to talk to us about his campaign's policies and what his representatives really think. We're going to be cutting to a commercial break really soon, but stay tuned. Good afternoon and welcome to Fox News. My name is Joseph Ken, and again, like I said before the commercial break, we have an official Trump campaign expert with us today, Michael Subjack. Yeah, hi. Uh, thanks for having me, Joe. I appreciate uh, you having me on the show. I love to be on Fox News whenever I can, so uh, thank you. We appreciate you being on the show also. So we have a couple questions for you today, and they all revolve around Donald Trump's policy. We were wondering, what do you feel about the nation's borders? Well, let's face it, Joe. A, a nation without borders, it, it ain't even a doggone nation, you know? I mean, literally, they are crawling in from all over aspects of the South. They're just crawling over. I mean, I, I don't know what else we could do besides build a wall just across the whole Mexico. Okay, so you're suggesting that the most effective plan would be to build a large physical wall from Tijuana to the Gulf of Mexico. Well, yeah, I mean, it makes sense, right? Why aren't we doing that? Are you aware that that spans over 1,900 miles? I'm well aware of it, yeah. I mean, it's got to be done. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's more than 1,900 people crawling in the border a day, so. Okay. So, just to be clear, you think there needs to be a large wall constructed, and you think that would be worth the cost of building a 1,900-mile long wall? Clearly, I think, yes. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, I mean, like what I said, the people crawling over the borders, coming over so many a day, it's up bound to let some criminals in, you know, drug dealers, gangbangers. My daughter is terrified of going to school with these people. My be my Aunt Betsy once told me, you don't ever want to go with these okay. kinds of people. Okay. All right, okay. I think we need to take a commercial break. We'll be back in a second. Thank you. With the issue of how to allow undocumented immigrants to pursue their future comes the DREAM Act. The DREAM Act would allow conditional res residency upon the completion of the following qualifications. A person must enter the country prior to the age of 16, obtain their GED or high school equivalent, demonstrate good character, or commit no cr criminal activity. After a few more qualifications, a citizen can obtain a permanent residency. This would allow undocumented citizens to obtain an education to pursue higher paying jobs. The bill was backed by Senators Dick Durbin and Orrin Hatch. Unfortunately, the bill was unable to pass. Hello, we're back again at Fox News. My name is Joseph Rucan and we have a Trump campaign expert, Michael Subject, with us right now. Okay, now that we're back from the commercial break and we've calmed down, do you have anything else you would like to talk about? Any other topics aside from the topic of actually building a wall? All right, fine. So we don't have to build a wall at this immediate moment, but we got to start making laws. I mean, let's face it, laws keep this country in order. You know, the Constitution has the laws, and we follow the laws. People make sure. But when these people come across the border, I mean, they, they, they're, they're not following the laws. I mean, a birthright. Take birthright into consideration. I want to get rid of birthright because, let's face it, you have a baby here. Does that mean that they're going to be a, a citizen? Um, I think you need to recall that this is a constitutional right. Uh, disallowing birthright would be to repeal the 14th Amendment, which allows for due process. Are you aware that having Trump do so would involve repeal uh, repealing a 14th Amendment? Well, what does the 14th Amendment even say? What does that have to do with birthright? The 14th Amendment guarantees due process, which guarantees that each citizen has the right to go through the law in the according process. What do you have to say to that? So you're telling me that if we don't want them to be citizens born here, we gotta take away the whole 14th Amendment? We have to take away the entire 14th Amendment. Are you aware that no president has ever before repealed an amendment aside from the prohibition of alcohol? Oh, so at the 21st, is that, that's one that lets me drink? Yes, yes, yes it is. Um, 
Okay, uh, well, we're going to be cutting to a commercial break right now while the campaign expert here gathers his thoughts for the next question. Thank you. Illegal immigrants from not only Mexico, but also all other countries are guaranteed an education from at least kindergarten to the 12th grade, and have been since June 15th of 1982. At that time, it was decided in the court case of Plyler v. Doe that Texas, withholding state funds for the education of illegally immigrated children, violated the 14th Amendment. The court found that, although the children might be illegal immigrants, they nonetheless constitute people in the eyes of the law, and so are protected from discrimination and guaranteed due process is prescribed by the 14th Amendment. Hello, welcome back to Fox News. We have with us Mike Subject, a Trump campaign expert. And who are you and how did you get in there? Oh, this is my cousin. Hey, yeah, my cousin. Cousin. yeah, he's my cousin. Yeah. Okay, we now apparently have two Trump campaign experts. Yeah, he's my, my cousin. Yeah. All right, I'm going to marry you. Okay, so my next question is for you guys. Uh, how are you going to finance the construction of a wall? Well, you gotta. We have to build the wall. It, yes, right. We have to build the wall. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So building this wall, like we got some, we got Mexico pay for it. Like they are the ones who are only causing the trouble. It's got to be Mexico paying for this wall. Why would Mexico pay for the wall? Because they're where that's where they come from. They come from Mexico. They move from Mexico to the United States through the wall. We need a wall. We, we need a, we need a wall. We need a wall. Are you aware that there are only two states that border Mexico that have high immigration rates? What, what, what are the two? Uh, Texas and California. Well, what are the rest? There are other states we need like. To build the wall. Yeah. Thank you. There are other states like Illinois, New York, New Jersey, and Florida, all of which have very high populations of illegal immigrants. Check out this Silverado. That's a nice overall. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah, by twenty horse. That's right pretty there. good. Yeah. Um, well, are you telling me they're all Mexicans going into these? Well, as I was saying, most of the states that have high uh, illegal immigration rates are not border states. So uh, you're telling me that Mexico it, it only has two states? And it, okay. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. We gotta build a wall. Yeah. yeah. We need to build a wall. Build a wall. Yeah. We need to build a wall. So you said everything you wish to say on this topic. Kinda. Yeah. yeah. I, I just want to re-emphasize that we need to build the wall. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We gotta build the wall. Yeah. Keep. All right. There you have it from the Trump campaign experts. We'll be back shortly from this commercial. Thank you. The term undocumented is commonly associated with people of Latino descent. However, this is inaccurate. As mentioned in the video, only two of the five states with the highest undocumented citizens border Mexico. In fact, Chicago contains more than 70,000 Polish illegal immigrants single-handedly. To blame Mexico as the sole source of illegal immigration is incorrect. Again, welcome back to Fox News. My name is Joseph Burkin, and I have with us two Trump campaign experts who are apparently cousins. Okay, he's, so he's my no. brother too. All right, your brother cousins. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful. <laughs> uh, okay, so one of the topics that Trump has talked about and you seem very adamant about are that you feel we need more ICE officers at the board. Yeah, I mean, are you going to cross the line when a guy's standing right in front of you telling me, don't cross this line, I'm going to shoot you? I mean, it, it blatantly makes sense. We need more officers, right? Right. Uh, are there any studies, are there, is there any evidence that increasing the number of ICE officers would at all be effective in preventing illegal immigration? Well, it's common sense, isn't it? I, I, it, it, it seems like that. I, I, I don't know of any evidence that I would support... I need evidence for this. I, I don't know any evidence that would qualify for these types of situations and whatnot. Um, I... I off the top of my head, no, I can't think of anything. We we, we need to build a wall, right? Yeah, yeah, build a wall. Yeah, okay. More t more ice officers too. All right. Hey, the more ice officers, the more employees we have. Unemployment rate goes down. It's a win-win. All right. 
So are you aware that allocating the funds to pay for more ICE officers would take away from other government agencies to use American taxes instead of putting that money to work elsewhere, such as perhaps more TSA workers, I suppose, considering the problems of uh, ISIS and- uh, ISIS, ISIS, those guys, oh my God, don't even get inside of those guys. I don't want them anywhere near my country. Okay. Well, I mean, there's also that entire problem over there that we need to acknowledge, but let's not focus on ISIS. Let's just focus on the fact that <coughs> allocating the funds <coughs> towards get more ICE, ICE officers would take away money that could be allocated to other more important government agencies. Yeah, fine, whatever. I don't really want to be on the show anyways, you we know? We need to build a wall. Well, we do need to build a wall, yeah. But, I mean, for the most part, yeah. Like, you want to get out of here sometime soon? Let you go. Yeah, thanks for having me on the show, Joe. I appreciate it. But, yeah, you know, it, 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 I, you really got that new Ford, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'd be down to show you the new truck. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, the torque and the 350 horsepower. Right. Pull, pull, no, we, can pull, we can pull Mom's trailer. We can totally pull Mom's trailer. Okay, uh, with this, we're going to be coming to the final commercial break. I hope you all agree.